Okay, so I'm going to show you how I set up my controller, which is a Satex X55 in the new Flight Sim 2020. It's easier if you are already in an airplane because then you can check your settings back and forth and make sure that you're, you're getting it right. So first thing I want to do is go into controls. I'm going to do my stick first. So you come up here, and there's your throttle, there's your stick. So I'm going to select my stick. Now the first problem I had when I went to do this was um, I couldn't find anything. So the first problem is, I don't know why they do this, but it defaults to assigned. You want to do this and then even going to essentials, when you go into here, it's only got some of the controls. You need to go to all. That's the most important thing, especially when it comes to throttle. But like I say, for now, I'm going to do the stick. So basically, you're going to flight control surfaces. And the problem I had here, it, it seems that all the problems come from anything with an axis. Um, programming buttons are easy as can be. So I went here and you go to primary control surfaces. Now automatically I tried to set these two, aileron roll, left roll, right. That was a mistake. Every time I went to do that, um, the inputs were really jerky and it was pretty much unflyable. So here's where you need to go. I've already got it preset for the rudder the ailerons and the elevator. Those, this is what you want to look for. You don't want rudder left, rudder right, elevator up, elevator down. You don't want that. You want these aileron axis period, elevator axis period, and rudder axis period. So here I've got it put in. So let's pretend it's not here. So basically I'll clear the input, say validate. Now it's empty. So simply all I do is select this button click on search by input, I move my stick to the left or right. Now it sees that that is my axis. That is what I want put in there. I say validate and there it is. So, and then you have to hit apply and save. You'll see over here in the right, it saves. Now you go back, resume, and then you can go to the stick and you can see it's nice and smooth inputs as I do it. The other thing you want to do here is when you're in this setting and in your flight controls, you can go to your ailerons and click on sensitivity. And this is where you can you can adjust your sensitivity. I have it at the more minus you go, the more smooth it seems, the more uh, relaxed the movement is and not jerky. And then I have a dead zone of four. So basically that's it for the joystick. Um, ailerons is right and left. Again, you just simply click on what it is you want to command. This will be empty. You click on this, move the input that you want to select, hit validate, and then basically apply and save and you're good to go. So now we're going to do the throttle. You go to the throttle. Same thing, it wants to go to a sign. That doesn't do us any good. You want to go to all, not essentials, because if you look at all, or essentials rather, in power management, your throttle choices are basically increase and decrease, and that's it. So, so basically, you want to go to all. So now when you go to throttle, you come down to the bottom here, and you'll see simply a throttle axis, okay? That's all you need, and you do it the exact same way. So I'm going to unselect this. So I'll clear that input, hit validate. So now you see throttle axis by itself with nothing selected. You click on that, click search by input, move your throttle up and down, and there it will see what axis you're moving, and you hit validate. Now, when you do this, you'll notice that this does this when you when you move 
the slider. It looks as if it's reversed. It's not. You don't need to reverse the axis. Click Apply and Save. You'll see down here it saves. Go back to the plane. And now you'll see my throttle is working. Um, now, just to keep this short, I'm going to basically just say the rest. The only other thing is with the jets and stuff, and even with the Cessna, you will find that the throttle only backs up as far to, as taxi. You need to be able to go back into your power management settings and again, see how it diverts back to assigned. You want all. Now you can go into decreasing the throttle more with a button to get into taxi mode. That's how I did it anyways. But basically, that's the basics of it. Um, it's very easily, you just have to click on the right the right setting and not any of these other settings, um, particularly when it comes to throttle and stick. All right, so that's it. Hopefully that helps. And uh, thanks for watching.